Men smiles all round for the 29-year-old. He joins us now from our Seapoint Studios in Cape Town. Yaku Penta, SA champ. Welcome to Sports on Prime. First and foremost, what do I call you now, champ or just Yaku? I think champ sounds better. No, you can stay with Yaku, that's fine, thanks. <laughs> I'll have to get used to the champ, but yeah, Yaku is better. Yaku, speak to us. I mean, SA championships, I mean, I think the question then comes in, we've seen you guys race overseas, we know what most of you are about. Coming back home and actually then leaving with that jersey, with the SA national flag on it, that's what you're going to be riding in for the next year. It must be a feeling of pride, first and foremost. Yeah, definitely, it's going to be a, a proud feeling. It's the first time in my career that I can race in Europe with that, with that special jersey on. So I'm really looking forward to, to getting to start to race in Europe or abroad. Mm. Quite so important nice for you guys. A good feeling. Yeah, sorry about that, Karen. Yeah, definitely. It's an important jersey to have for the team as we mostly South African and Africans. So it's really important for us to win and luckily we could pull it off. I'm looking at the fact that, you know, uh, Team Dimension Data has pride, prided itself by, you know, calling itself Africa's team first and foremost. So yet again, being out there in the world, you know, in the big stages with the big boys, so to speak, and wearing your national flag, wearing those colors across your chest, that, that's as a bit of, you know, uh, um, you know, kilowatts to those legs when you're pumping up those hills. Yes, definitely. Africa and South Africa isn't really known for a strong cycling country, so... I think over the years we've made a big impact on the international racing and I hope we can carry on like that. Yaku, here's a question. You know, again, we, we, the, the SA champs, we look at the biggest names that came out, the likes of Daryl Impey, we know how well he's done, especially after wearing a, the yellow jersey and as far as the Tour de France is concerned. All you guys who ride for Dimension Data were there. So it is quite an important race for you guys, although a lot of people say, ah, what's the point? You can make more money, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, being abroad. Yes, definitely. We knew, knew Daryl was going to be our main op opponent, so that's why we had most of us African riders there. That It just shows you how important the jersey is to the team and even to the riders. We all, we all wanted to, to be here and we all wanted to win, and so it's good to pull it off. Speak about us about your team. Again, you know, coming from being MTN uh, Kubega, that contract has ended. You're now as South Africa's team dimension data um, a lot expected as well from you um, and as far as that's concerned Africa's team the whole Kubega vibe still continues bringing bicycles for, for, for kids that initiative has not gone away it's there's always expectations from you and you know I'm looking at some of the pictures of this team this is a South African team that raced over the weekend at this you know in, in, in the SA championships Jacques van uh, Songheza Jim Reynard as well as Nick take us through that I mean you guys have got a lot on your shoulders besides being so that Africa's first pro cycling team there's, there's also a sense of, of achievement and giving back to the communities that you come from in Africa. Yeah, that's another special aspect of our team. We, only, we don't just race to, to win races. We also race to, to raise awareness for Quebec. So the better we do as well, it's an incentive for us and as well for Quebec. So the whole program grows and we can get more kids on bikes and that improves their lives and it just makes the lives of a lot of kids around South Africa and Africa just easier and better. Take us through this year's team. Uh, what are your expectations? I mean, it's been a good, quite a good start so far. The likes of Mark Cavendish, yourselves, I mean, on form of the, on, on form of the road has gradually been building over the past two weeks. In fact, that's your former team, uh, Dimension Data. Um, Dubai Tour, Tour of Qatar. Um, that came, you came second, I think, uh, did Cavendish mark uh, after Marcel Kittel in Dubai, but landed a stage win and then overall victory in Qatar. There's, again, the eyes on you watching, you know, especially from us in the media, wanting to see how you guys do. Edvald Basson as well, always one of those strong riders. We want to see you guys doing well. Uh, what's in store this year? Yes, definitely. Every year we've been growing. It's now the fourth year of the team going, so every year it's been growing, and this year we've got a lot of, lot of good riders. As you've, as you've seen, we've started the year on, we've already got a few wins under the belt, and we've, we've got an overall with, with Cavendish, obviously having Cavendish on, on board this year, and yeah, there's a lot expected of us, and I hope we can step up another level this year and get some good wins in. Speaking about those good wins, I know a man who's always strict. I mean, we've had him on the show a couple of times. Doug Ryder, how's he doing? Is he still the strict daddy principle that he is? Yeah, Doug is good. He's, he's always happy <laughs> when he sees us. He's, especially after you do well after this weekend, you are super happy. So, 
No, I think he's he's doing well. He's he's happy with the performances so far this year, so he, he's happy. <laughs> okay, uh, speak to us. What about you? You take some time off, and then what happens um, as far as Jakob Fent is concerned? You join the team. I know there's a couple of races they're going to come through, um, but that big one is obviously the Tour de France. Again, it's not you no know, done and dusty. We're not sure who's in the team yet. That's still going to be chosen. But a couple of races coming up for you, for you guys, team Dimension Data, over the next couple of months, surely. Yes, yeah, we've we've always got a busy program. So, at the moment for myself, I have this weekend so in Cape Town, and then I go on this weekend. I go to Malaysia for Tour de Langkawi. Then I come back for about two and a half weeks. Maybe I'll do the August me and Zangezo gym, and then after that I go back to Europe. And then this, my European season starts. A lot of the riders have already started doing races in Europe, but for me, I go go to Europe a bit later. So I'm in, in summer a bit longer, but. I'm looking forward to get uh, the European racing started as well. Yeah, I'm looking at your pictures again, Yaku. In fact, I think the best one for me was the first one that we saw with that South African flag emblazoned on it. Yaku Fenter, South African national road champion, winning SA Champs over the weekend. Thank you very much for joining us on Sports on Prime. Much appreciated. Wishing you and the team, Dimension Data, South Africa, for Kubega, the best of luck over the season or so. And hopefully Tour de France, you do like you did last year and fly the African flag high. Thank you very much for joining us. That was Yaku Fenter, as I said, Safkan Road Champion, joining us from our Seapoint Studio.